Hi Stampin' Friends, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com and my project for you today is this one and it is a gift box and it has a belly band with a sentiment that says kindness changes everything. A lovely sentiment that. Now the box that I've made here, I hand stamped this using the abstract impressions stamp set which I stamped in Old Olive Garden Green, Clipso Coral, uh, Rich Raspberry and So Saffron. So I used those inks and stamped my own design on a piece of very vanilla cardstock. But today we are going to make the box for a male and I'll explain why in a moment. So this box holds some gorgeous little handmade tags that I've been making. Um, I recently thought why don't I make some tags because the tags in the shops are very plain and I thought all these lovely crafting things and little bits that I have left over in my stash would make some gorgeous little tags basically for free really. So that is what I have been doing, making some tags and this is the Share What You Love DSP which I am in love with at the moment and I seem to be putting it on all my projects but I think that's good and you can see that I've used different little embellishments and the um, the laser cut speciality paper that we've got I had some little pieces of that left over and with some sequins and a little wooden flower in the middle uh, it's they're just so pretty so I've been making a whole load of these and thought well You've got to have a box to keep them in because you don't want to damage them. So that is how my box came about. But today I'm going to make one, as I said, for the males in our lives. We always seem to forget those. Uh, I, I sort of tend to go for the pretty. Um, but today the box is made exactly the same. So if you want to make a pretty box or a male box, up to you but this is the box that we're going to be making today um, if you want to know the sizing of the gift tags they are five by two inches which is 12.5 by five centimeters um, and these are the tags that I've been making for the men in our lives and I've just used what I had in my stash to make these tags and I thought well they're just as pretty they deserve a box too so let's get on and make our box and forgive my nails today but they're in a dreadful state so I've taken off all the nail varnish and I'm trying to give them a soaking in creams and potions to try and bring them back to life so do forgive me right then oh yes and thank you to my subscribers who recently said where have you been Sandra I have had a couple of months off due to my job in the NHS and also due to the summer we really shouldn't miss the, the hot weather it's been absolutely gorgeous and we really need to make the most of it so we're going to make the box today and um, we're making it in basic black and um, you need a piece for that that measures 11 and 3 quarters by 7 and a half this is a piece of the share what you love DSP but instead of using the pretty side I'm using the um, male type side so you can see this paper's got lots of uses and this measures 11 and 9 sixteenths by 7 and 5 sixteenths which in centimeters is 30.1 by 19.6 and I think I forgot to give the centimeters measurements 11 and 3 quarters by 7 and a half which is 30 by 19.5 so that's the measurements for that and then I've got a piece of um, crumb cake cardstock here which measures three and three quarters by two inches and a piece here which measures one and a half inches by three and a half inches and I just used my um, um, punch banner triple punch two punch some little edges there but you can hand cut them uh, and then I've got a strip here of um, basic black and I've layered onto it a piece of gold and that measures one and a half inches by eleven and three quarters inches which in centimeters is 
let me get my ruler which measures in centimeters 29.5 by 3.8 and then the gold piece sorry I've just realized that's out of shot then the gold piece measures the same which is 11 and 3 quarter inches by 1 inch which is the same 29.5 by 2.5 and then I've made this little gold bow because on this tag here I've got little dicky bows so I thought I'd replicate that with a little bow and that's for the decoration so let's get on with our scoring so let's bring in the scoreboard and let me just take you out because you cannot see what I'm doing otherwise whoops I'm having fun with this right then so this is the base and um, we are scoring it on all four sides at five eighths of an inch and two and one eighth inches so that couldn't be easier five eighths by two and one eighth and in centimeters that is five point that is two and five point five done and for the lid we will need the measurements at half an inch and two inches on all four sides which is two and 5.5 half an inch I'm losing my place here I'm trying to look at my measurements on my pad here and I uh, don't want to get it wrong. So half an inch and two. And that's the scoring done. So let's put the board away. And then we'll start to bear, fold and burnish and make up the box. And I have made many different sized boxes that are reinforced like this and I'm sure that you've seen it all before so it will be hope you don't think that this is a long video I'll try and get through it quickly um, but the box is made exactly the same for the lid and the base which is both reinforced so the cutting away measurements will be the same So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, top, we're going to do the top and then I'm going to go away and make the base which is made in exactly the same way and then I will come back but we're cutting the base so we cut away those little edges at the corner and this edge here and we wedge in not chin like this I didn't cut that very straight did I and then you cut a wedge here same on this side we're going up And 
watching me. I haven't yet worked out how to speed up the video and uh, cut bits out and paste them together. So, um, I was delighted that I'd been missed. I was amazed, but delighted that I'd been missed. But we all do far more creating, I think, in the winter months than we do in the summer, especially if you have a good, a good summer. Right then, so that is all your cutting away done, and that is what you will have when you have finished your cutting away. So now we want some uh, double-sided tape for these outside edges. a nice box this and it's big enough to hold really anything more or less anything you, you don't just have to put gift tags in it you could put anything in it right then so we're going to put some wet glue on these four tabs and I'm using Tombow So you put it together as you would any other box, sealing those edges nice and tight, both ends. And just make sure that that's nicely stuck down by putting our bone folder in there. Same the other side. And I th I'm sort of running a temperature today. I've, I've sort of got a cold coming. I woke up in the middle of the night with a s terrifically sore throat. Um, really, really uncomfortable awake and uh, this morning I've been sneezing a lot so if I start sneezing on video you'll have to forgive me I've got glue and gunge all over me bone folder now With our pokey tool, which I don't, I don't know what I've done with. Where's that disappeared to my pokey tool? I had it a second ago. Oh, there it is. Then we take off our strips and push it down. Push that down and run the bone folder across it for a good tight seal. Do the same all the way along. The 
but it just seems to have suddenly changed and I think summer's gone although they say at the end of the week that we're going to have a heat wave again but I'm not sure I believe it when I went shopping this morning it was very windy right then so that is our lid made and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to come back when I've made the base because the base is made in exactly the same way. So I'll be back in, a, in a, just a few ticks. So I'm back and I've made the base just as exactly as I did the lid. And um, now we put our lid on, but before we put our lid on, I'm going to do like two little finger pulls in the side. So you with this is a three quarter inch punch and I'm just going about the middle the middle of um, my box on the side about halfway down at the punch same on the opposite side about halfway down and punch and that gives us our finger pulls but we'll put our little tags in before we do that Made that good. Tuck those in, lid on, fits nicely. And now we need to make our belly band. Um, just to mention that if you want to make your own, like DSP for your lid, I have a video out and I will put a link to that on my blog so if you want to make this lid yourself and stamp your own DSP um, go over to artpapercrafters.com and onto my blog which you can click on the little down arrow description bar which is just about in the corner here and that will take you to my blog click on that it will take you to the project and I'll put a link to um, hand stamp your own DSP I have a video for that Right then, we're making the belly band now. So we put that on about here. And what I did was I just tucked it round by hand. And then tucked it round to this side, like that. And brought that round this side. And just with your fingers pinch and then we're going to get our bone folder and we're going to make sure that we've got good creases on them some glue to stick that on so I'm going to use my fast fuse for that so I'm just going to put some and some fast fuse along there and you want to do it so that it's fairly it's got a bit of looseness to it so that you can slide it off again so I think about there and that means that that will slide but it's not too loose. I think that's good. That's looking good. Classy, I think is what you'd say. Classy. So we're going to put our stamp our sentiment here. Like that. So let's stamp our sentiment. Um, and I've taken the same sentiment. Kindness changes everything because I like it. I like that sentiment. And we're going to use black memento. And I've prepped it on a block, and this is a D block that I've prepped it on. So into our onto our stamp. I think that's good and inked. And stamp down. that on 
so that the black comes and absorbs into the paper a bit. Let's hope that's had enough. Pull that off. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So we're going to layer that onto here. I don't know how you can get black ink on you when you're careful. I'm blowing on it to make sure it's um, dry because the old black ink seems to take a bit longer to dry. And then I'm just putting a bit of fast fuse on it again for, for speed. And then we're pushing it together. So that we've got an equal border all round. And now we want to fix that onto here. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. Because I think it's better to put the dimensionals on here and to find that you've put them in the wrong place because obviously you, you need to slide this belly band off. So some dimensionals on there. And stick our sentiment on here. Like that. And then with our little bow tie, we're going to glue that on here. I think that looks good. So I'm going to use a couple of glue dots for that. And this um, bow tie was made using the um, little ribbon bow that Stampin' Up! sell. So I think that's rather sweet and quirky and, and quite stylish actually, very stylish. Uh, and hold your tags. So I hope that you will have a go at making one of those. Don't forget to uh, click in the down arrow description bar um, where you'll find all the products that I've used and dimensionals and should you need any crafting supplies I'd be really grateful if you could choose me as your demonstrator and shop through me. I have um, lots of rewards that I give for my customers. So do um, click over and if I have time I'll put the measurements on there at the bottom of the post for you um, but uh, that's all from me for today thank you for watching and f subscribing to my blog and YouTube channel I'm very grateful for that and uh, I'll see you soon in a couple of days bye for now bye <laughs>